picking the right partner for your children is one of the most important things that you will ever have to choose in your life. It's your girl Sin. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sin. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you want to be a part of the tribe. It's absolutely free. So you guys, I have Louie down here. So if you see his tail wagging or you see him get up once in a while, he's right here next to me. He's always constantly under me, so he'll be part of this video. <laughs> but I really wanted to give you guys a update on my life. One of the biggest things that I do want to tell you guys, the first things I do want to tell you guys is that I am engaged. I got engaged in September in Italy, on my way to Italy, with my newly fiance. And you guys, I'm extremely happy. I can't believe that I am a fiance. So how does it feel to be engaged? It's frightening, it's stressful, and it's all good things. Not in a bad way, in a, in a really good way, because it's just like, I'm super excited, I'm super happy. I'm super, like, I'm very anxious. Like, I just wanna get to the next phase of this, like what happens after the wedding, because I feel like planning a wedding is, is super stressful, and you have so much anxiety, you have you have so many so much nerves, and you just wanna make sure that everything is perfect. You wanna just make sure that your guests are happy, and your guests feel like, you know, this is the best way that they have, they've ever been to, you know what I mean? All of that pressure um, of planning a wedding, but I just wanna get to like after, you know, we, we get married and we start having children and creating a life that we really want for ourselves, and you know, there's gonna be people in our in our family, and there's already people in our family that already have their opinions about how what we should do and what we, you know how we should plan our lives and like where we should live. And there's just been so much um, opinions of what we should do and what we shouldn't do. And I just feel like I'm just really happy that I'm a strong partner to him, and he's a strong partner for me because we can kind of decipher all of the white noise, all the chatter in our lives, and we can kind of really focus on the things that we really want for our, our lives. I really had a conversation with my mom. My mom told me at the end of the day, Cynthia, this is your wedding and what you want to do. So you have to be able to kind of really focus on those particular things that are important to you and not really care about what others have to say. And that is what I've been kind of using as my motto as far as like moving forward in this new space in my life. This is a new chapter in my life that I'm super excited to kind of really experience. And I realized that a lot of women don't get to say that they've been married in their lifetime. A lot of women don't get to kind of experience true love or experience healthy love or unconditional love in a lifetime and I'm going to be completely honest with you I didn't think that I was going to be that particular woman I was very content with being by myself I had been single for a very long time before my partner came into my life so I was extremely content with being by myself I told myself that I was going you know just have one kid you know take care of my child I'll be a single mother and and you know just kind of be very content and every time i have this conversation with people around me they're just like cynthia like you think so love of, you think so low of yourself or you, you should want better for yourself and it's just like no like i was really content with just being by myself and i was so happy with kind of like engulfing myself in self-love and kind of engulfing myself with peace and kind of engulfing myself with being still and i feel like that's very important for a woman to do before heading into or moving into a serious relationship because there's women that go from back to back to back with having men back to back to back without having some sort of a break or having some sort of a, a place to kind of find some sort of peace or some sort of solace so i was just like you know what i have been single for a very long time when i mean very long time i mean a very long time and sometimes you have to be by yourself for a very long time or you have to be at peace in being by yourself in a very long time so that you can appreciate when you do have someone in your life. Now, a lot of girls come to me as a spiritual advisor and be like, Sin, when's my person gonna come? Sin, when's my person gonna come? Sin, why well, I've been waiting for years, when's my person gonna come? And I always tell my, my clients and I always tell my friends like, it's not just about wanting someone to come into your life. You want the right person to come into your life because anybody can come into your life and waste your time. Anybody can come into your life and waste your, your youth. Anybody can come into your life and just waste up just 
your your biological clock your uterus you know what i mean so and i feel like it's very imperative to find the right person it's not very imperative to find just anybody to come into your life and i always have these lessons or i always have these particular chats with women about making sure that you have the right person in your life and not just anyone because anyone can come into your life and waste your time so i feel like what was more important for me is not just having someone just to say that i have somebody but what's more important for me is to have somebody that loves me unconditionally and y'all know the old quote by rihanna y'all know rihanna's grandmother told her to find somebody that loves her more than she loves them listen grandma ain't never lied <laughs> Grandma ain't never lied, but I will say that you want someone who's going to love you unconditionally. You want someone that's going to protect you. You want someone that's going to be your peace. You want to be, make sure that you're with someone that sees you at a high regard. You just want someone that, when they walk into the room, they're not only just talking about themselves, they're talking about you. They're talking about how you have contributed to their life, how you made them a better person, how you cater to making sure that they are the best version of themselves. And that's really what I wanted. I wanted to have a powerful dynamic. I I wanted to have an, an, a, a, a relationship based off unconditional love and I wanted a relationship that was based on respect and based on, on peace and I feel like women forget or tend to forget that yes this person could look fine as hell or yes that this person can provide for you financially but those are just bare minimum things i always say love is a bare minimum thing love should be a bare minimum for you love should not be like oh my god he loves me like oh my god that should not be like that should not be something to kind of gloat over because love is a bare minimum thing for me well for me it is it's a, it's a bare minimum thing you there's loyalty there's respect there's so many things that's, that falls under the category of love and I feel like that wasn't more so imperative for me um so it all depends on the woman but someone that can pay your bills or someone that those are just things that just are bare minimum you know what I mean? And I always tell women that yes, you want someone that's going to take care of you. And yes, you want someone that is going to give you the things that you've always desired and, and to give you that soft girl life or that luxurious lifestyle. But sis, if you bring nothing to the table, why would a man come into your life and provide for you and to love you and to take care of you and to provide you all the things that you've been desiring when you, you, you bring absolutely nothing to the table? You're masculine, divinely masculine. You're, you, you come with chaos you're not his peace like there's so many things that women tend to forget that they need to work on themselves and they 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 always ask themselves why can i be able to attract that one figure man or why can i one percent man why can i attract that soft lifestyle that this man is giving to other women like it might be you sis it just might be you and I feel like women also tend to forget that men want to see you in high regard. And I feel like it, it is about making sure that you're in your divine feminine energy. It is also important that you are also tending to your own garden. It's, it's, I feel like the more you work on yourself, and this is probably why I was so single for a very long time, the more you work on yourself and you give that unconditional love that you've been craving to yourself, that is when that love comes into your life. When you are able to provide that same love to others, to yourself. When you t decide that you're no longer going to pour or take from your cup to give to others, and you decide that you're going to only pour into your cup, that's when you are ready and prepared for a significant other. You have to bring more to the table than just looks. And I always say that you don't want to just be married, you want to be happily married. The goal is to always be happily married. It's not just to be married. And the goal for me is to be happily married. Being married is an easy thing. There's plenty of women who have been married. But to stay married and to be in a happy marriage and to be in a stable marriage and to be in, 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 a, in a relationship that is just unconditionally love that is the goal for me and i didn't want to rush things i i i've been rushed so many times um to settle down or to kind of just like i've always been told like cynthia harriet you're getting older you need to start having kids you know cynthia harriet you need to hurry up and get a man because you're getting older and i i there it was such all the fear mongering information and opinions from my elders was just like hurry up hurry up hurry up and I, every time I would hear hurry up, every time they would say hurry up, I always heard in my mind, settle, settle, settle. And I didn't want to settle. And I'm glad I didn't settle because I would never be in the space and the relationship that I am in now. And I'm glad that it took me this long. I'm glad that I was single for all those years. I'm glad that I didn't give in to just 
you know, procreating with just anybody. I had self-control and I decided that I wanted to take control of who I decide to give a child to because that's a huge step. And that is a very important step. Picking the right partner for your children is one of the most important things that you will ever have to choose in your life. And I thought to myself that I don't want to settle. I don't want to, I'm not going to listen to my elders and tell me that, tell me, hurry up, get pregnant, hurry up, find a man, hurry up and settle and settle and settle. And I'm glad I didn't settle. And to my women listening today, never settle. I talked a little bit about this on my channel about me being very comfortable with being single and finding myself and rediscovering my life, rediscovering myself as a woman. I was absolutely content with being by myself and being alone. Um, I did not think marriage was going to be in my future. I did not expect that I would be in such a long term relationship, but the universe and God had plans for me that I did not think that I had for myself and I talk a little bit about this on my channel but I will briefly say this I am probably one or two or possibly three the third person in my family to be uh you know married or happily married a lot of people do stay married but they are not happily married but I am in a happily relationship and I feel like I am breaking a generational curse no one around me that I know <laughs> is you know happily married or I don't know a lot of people in my life that are married so for me to get married was a huge 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 big deal for me and the road to being a wife is a huge deal for me because I did not grow up seeing healthy relationships I did not grow up seeing happy relationships I did not grow up seeing happy marriages so for me to kind of like step aside and break that generational curse in my particular family and my bloodline I'm extremely happy to have that because I wanted my children to see different I wanted my bloodline to see life differently I wanted to kind of break the unhealthy patterns in my family and be the one to kind of show my children a completely new lifestyle now going a long segue into children yes I do want children I do want two children and I two is my mask because cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. every time I hear children I think of cha -ching. I'm just like not in Joe Biden's inflation not in Joe Biden's country honey and I'm still thinking like not in this particular term because inflation is through the roof but I would love to have two children a boy and a girl preferably if I do have two girls he's gonna have to be a, a girl dad but I would prefer a boy and a girl after getting married I'm I'm not going to tell you guys when I'm going to get married. I'm going to keep that a secret. I'm going to keep that private. Hopefully you guys don't, you know, be upset or feel some type of way about that. You guys know I open up a pretty much show you guys a little bit of my lifestyle. I'm pretty open with you guys about what's going on in my life, but I really do want to keep part of my life private. Um, I am very private in my romantic relationship and there's a reason for that. I like to protect things that are very important to me. There is a lot of people that are not going to be happy for your success. There are a lot of people who are not going to be happy for your happiness. So I do like to protect things that are extremely important to me and my relationship is extremely important to me. There's a lot of people who throw, you know, evil eye. There's a lot of people who throw negative energy and I just don't want to kind of open my relationship, my romantic relationship to those particular things things or those particular energies because you guys know that I'm very energetically sensitive and I just really want to protect this part of my life because I am very happy and I don't want anything to tarnish my relationship or I don't want any energy to tarnish my romantic relationship so I'm very private with that so I won't tell you guys when I'm going to get married but just know that it's soon. <laughs> just know that it's soon um, but you guys the like I said, I never thought that I would be a fiance. I never thought that I would be a wife. Um, it's a very liberating experience for me. It's a very new experience for me. Like, it's a very em emotional experience for me as well. And I'm not gonna cry, but like, I feel like when you find your person you and you find peace in someone, it's very, very special and it's very sacred. The things that keep you sane, the things that keep your, your peace and things that keep you at ease. And I feel like once you find that particular person, or it doesn't even have to be a person, it could just be a thing, it could be a place, it could be an experience. You just want to make sure that that's for you and you want to keep it sacred. So the cat's out of the back, you guys. Um, yes, I am engaged and 
I can't wait for this journey. I'm excited about this journey. I'm excited for the things that'll come. I, I can't wait to start a family. I can't wait to kind of create new experiences in my family. I don't want to repeat the same patterns in my family. I want to reinvent my family going in and I can't wait to kind of show my children a different lifestyle. I do want to show my children that anything is possible. I want to show them healthy coping mechanisms. I want to show them that they can be the best version and the most healthiest versions of themselves because like I said, our parents did the best that they possibly can with the information that they had and with the experiences that they had. But I feel like going into creating a family unit with my partner, I just want to give my children a lot more experiences that I wasn't given or even my parents were given. I just want to show them that there is boundless opportunities as far as just like opening up emotionally, mental health, going after their dreams, going after opportunities that they felt like wasn't for them. So I do feel like I just want to give my children a whole new perspective going in. Now I do want to catch y'all up because you know I do have to fit in my dress. I do want to catch you guys up on what I've been doing to kind of help me with my weight loss. You guys, I'm trying to lose 15 pounds for this wedding or at least 20 pounds for this wedding because I do want to look impeccable in my dress. But you guys, I've been incorporating dandelion root or dandelion tea to my weight loss journey. And when I tell you it is snatched my waist. <laughs> It has snatched my ways. I'm telling y'all, if anyone wants to kind of go down this journey with me, I've been going down this journey with dandelion tea and what it's been doing is that's been helping with my bloating. It's been helping me with water retention and that's what was my biggest problem as far as my weight loss journey was the water retention. My body was holding on to so much weight and I just felt so soft and bloated and I didn't know how to kind of get rid of that. I really wanted to kind of look the best version of myself. Even though my wedding is coming up, I do want to make sure that I want to start now with my health and I really want to start now with my weight loss journey so that I can kind of look really good for my for my dress, like really, really good for, on my wedding day. So I've been using dandelion tea. I've been using it for about two weeks. I've seen a dramatic when I say dramatic, I've seen such a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic change in my body. I do see that my stomach has gotten flatter. I do see that my body has kind of tightened up a little bit. I don't have the water rate. I don't have the bloating. I, it's really good for your liver as well. It's really good to flush out all that water weight. So that's what I've been using. So if you guys really want to try dandelion tea or dandelion root tea, I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront and it has amazing benefits. Dandelion tea is such a natural diuretic. So you are going to be using the bathroom a lot. So just I'm giving you a warning, it's going to send you to the bathroom a lot. Um, you're going to be peeing the majority of the day. So I drink this about once or twice a day. Usually I just, when I first got it, I did start just drinking it once a day. But I have gotten, you know, it's, a, an, it's an acquired taste, but as I've been taking it once a day, I've been like, you know what, putting a little bit of honey or maybe putting a little bit of stevia. Um, it's been helping me get it down. So if you guys don't really like the taste or is it just too bitter for you, try using honey or stevia to kind of like get this, get some sort of taste back into that tea. It does regulate blood sugar levels as well. It's a probiotic, the one that I do use. So if you do want to try it, it will be linked down below. Planning a wedding is very stressful and I have been a little bit of stress and a little bit of, having a little bit of anxiety with planning this wedding. I have a large family. My significant other has a really large family. So it's been kind of interesting how we both have been kind of like leaning on each other because it's been really stressful getting our families together because it's just a really large dynamic. Now, I just have to I just have to admit to myself and I've I've already admitted to myself. I I feel like he hasn't really come to terms with it, but our wedding is going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to be a huge wedding and just thinking about it and having so many people in the room is just giving me so much anxiety. Not that there's going to be drama or anything that sort. It's just like getting during a large party is a lot of anxiety okay it's a lot of anxiety and I we have gone through so many places to kind of see where we're going to have our reception and everywhere that we've gone you know some sort of tour of their property or their venue is like where's that gonna work it's not gonna work it's just, this is not going to fit all the people that we need to, to invite to the wedding it's not gonna work so we've been having a really stressful time with finding a location for the wedding or a location for the reception it's been a little stressful and this is what happened on YouTube because 
I, planning a wedding is like it's it's huge it's monumental and it's so stressful they, they don't prepare you for this in life they don't prepare you for a lot of things in life and this is one of the things that they do not prepare you for they do not prepare you for, <laughs> for throwing a wedding okay and I just feel like it's exciting it's scary it's I'm just like so many mixed emotions with throwing a wedding it's just like it's I if there's something it's it's, it's so important to find a really good partner because I feel like I have so much solace in him because when I'm like stressed out or like freaking out I just feel like this is someone that was gonna just, that would just calm me down I just feel like it's so important to have a partner just like look it's gonna work out okay look we're gonna get this through all of this together so is I'm very happy <laughs> that I have someone to be like look chill relax this is all gonna work out we're gonna have fun on our wedding day we're like we're, we're, it's gonna be so beautiful like I, I just feel like I need to hear those words of encouragement and I feel like that's so important with planning a wedding because there's times when I just want to pull out my hair there's times when I'm just like you know what let's just elope <laughs> there's times where I'm just like you know what let's just throw this a destination wedding but it's just like no we won't all of our family and friends to be there so it's just something that we just have to figure out and that's why i haven't been really on been on youtube is because your girl has been stressed out with this wedding ever since i got engaged and you know i got engaged in september and we're now in november <laughs> and i just have to figure things out but that is all that i really want to tell you guys i do want you guys to know that i have not abandoned you and i just really want to give you an update on currently where i am in my life i'm engaged i'm planning a wedding all is well hopefully you guys are also doing amazing as well please if you guys have any ideas on any videos that you would like to see please leave them down below i love you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys